nature of life. And to take that life to the womb is contrary to the will of God. So I speak out against that. I speak against what is contrary to the character of God. The character of God is pure. And I can talk about His holiness and His righteousness. But I think just to say that the character of God is pure is enough. Whatever is in your life that's not pure is contrary to the character of God. And that's what sin is. Sin is to miss the mark, to not be, not reflect the character of God. I'm not able to poke the finger at homosexuals. Whatever in your life is not pure is what the Bible calls sin. And the wages of sin is death. And the soul of sin shall perish. So I point to Jesus Christ and say, there's eternal life offered through Him. There's a way you can be saved from the power of sin. It's through Him. He's the Lamb of God that takes away the sin you love so much. He takes away the sin of the world. So my, my message is to point to Jesus Christ. What's your question? Know when you're going about sin. What? Know when you're going about sin. Okay, I I hate my sin. I'm not perfect, but I, I don't like my sin anymore. Well, why would I do that? What? Oh, believe me, believe me, young man. Before I was saved. Oh, I was a wicked sinner. I was probably way more, way more wicked than you. But God saved me 10 years ago, so I'm not perfect, but I hate my sin. When I sin, I, I, I might weep or I might go home and just pray to God would never let me do that sin again. See, that's what it means to be a Christian. Your relationship with your sin changes. And so you hate your sin. You're not perfect, but you have a hatred for your sin. And your relationship with God changes because God gives you love for Jesus Christ. Your relationship with God changes because God gives you a love for Jesus Christ. And so that's what it means to be a Christian. I, I'm not coming here to tell you to stop sinning because you can never do that. You, you, can put, you can live your life in a monastery. You can join a nunnery and you're still end up in hell because God has to change your heart. I'm here today to point you to Jesus Christ, not to tell you to stop sinning. When you, when you sin, you're simply doing what you love. When you sin, you're simply doing what your heart's telling you to do. You need God to change your heart. Because your heart might have you seek after what's okay. righteous and what's right. pure. The Bible says, what to the pure, all things are pure. So for a Christian, we, we would see marriage as pure, as holy and undefiled. In a Christian, when we see little children, we see them as pure as they can be with the nature they have. We, uh, we hate to see children exposed to sin. Yeah, in, in a Christian, we see marriage as pure. To the pure, all things are pure. But the Bible says, to the ungodly and unbelieving, all things are defiled. And to the ungodly and unbelieving, they want to destroy marriage. They want to expose little children to sin. They want to, they want to take down everything that's pure and bring it down to their level. And that's what so shocked me about Saturday. Not the fact that a bunch of Alice Towers came here and enjoyed a party. The fact that the local children are all exposed to that bill. That's what was so shocking here. The little children are here who have seen it on parade, and no one speaks out against it. I was ashamed even be here to see little children exposed to that. These little children, they're, they're, they're the age where they're, you know, they're teachable, but it's going to be in front of things of God. They saw someone dressed up like the queen. I mean, how, how are you going to honor the queen when they see uh, a transvestite dressed like the queen? Uh, the people running over in Scotland, you know, guys wearing kilts running around, shaming what God, what God stand for. Yeah, it was shameful. To the 